I'm Santosh Gaidenkar. Today I'm solving the problem of control engineering that is a root locus. Sketch the root locus of a unity feedback system that is H of S is nothing but one here whose forward path of a transfer function is given this one. The number of poles because this is in quadratic equation with the help of a calculator. Go for uh, equation 5, 3, uh, 1, 5, 6. The roots are minus 2. First, S will be minus 2, minus 3, the two roots, and this is nothing but 0. Let pole P is equal to 3. Number of poles will be 3 here. Number of poles will be 3. Number of zeros, Z is equal to 0. There is no zeros. This is we call as poles, and this is nothing but zeros. Zeros. Number of branches. P minus Z that is 3 minus 0 is a thing but 3. Number of branches terminating in infinity. Number of branches terminating at infinity is a thing but here you have to do in this way. Number of branches P is greater than Z therefore P is equal to N and is a thing but 3. Number of branches terminating at infinity is a thing but P minus Z, where P is nothing but uh, 3, minus 0 is nothing but 3. 3. 3 branches are terminating at infinity. Root locus is symmetric about the real axis, and root locus is present on the real axis. This is the angle of asymptotes formula. Now, what is P? P is nothing but 3, Z is 0, minus 1. P is nothing but 2. 2. That is, K should be 0, 0, 1, and 2. Now, if you substitute 0 is equal to uh, k is equal to 0, then what happens? Theta is equal to 0. Theta at the bottom 0, 2 into 0 plus 1 into 180 divided by 3 minus 1, 0 he is nothing but 60 degree. Theta 1 is nothing but 2 into 1 plus 1, 180 divided by 3 minus 0 is nothing but 180 degree. Theta 2, 2 into 2 plus 1, 180 divided by 3 minus 0 is nothing but 300 degree. Now find out the angle. centroid, sum of the P, sum of P is nothing but this is the P here, minus 2, minus 3, 0 is nothing but 0, Z is nothing but 0, divided by 3, 0. The centroid will be minus 1.667. Now break away point. Break away point plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. 1 plus you have to write this in place of h of s into g of s you have to write this expression because the h of s is nothing but unity. Therefore 1. 1 you have to. Okay. Write that expression as it is here. h divided by s square plus 5s plus 6 is equal into s is equal to 0. Multiply this one. This becomes s cube plus 5s square plus 6s plus k is equal to 0. Now k is nothing but minus s cube plus 5s square plus 6s. Now dk by ds you have to do differentiate and this becomes 3s square plus 10s plus 6 is equal to 0. If you go for root, root, the answer will be minus 0. Point, minus 0. 0.7847, comma, minus 2.548. This is the answer. Next, I have to go for crossover frequency. Now, this is the crossover frequency. For RH criteria, I have to use. I have to use this expression, the k value. This expression I will do s cube plus 5 s square plus plus 6 s plus k is equal to 0. s is cube s square yes yes not 1 5 6 k cross multiply this 3 this and this 5 into 6 k divided by 5. 
30 minus k divided by 5. Right, 30 minus k divided by 5. Multiply this and this, this and this, you will get k. Find this one now to know the k value. 30 minus k divided by 5 less than greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, minus k is equal to minus 30. Therefore, k is equal to 30. Now, consider this expression. S square is nothing but cutting imaginary axis. Use this one. Phi s square plus k is equal to 0. Therefore, phi s square plus k is nothing but 30 equal to 0. Therefore, s is nothing but plus or minus plus or minus 2.45 j plus or minus 2 point plus or minus 2.45 j is the where the imagination active axis will be cut I will go for the graph this is the graph first write the poles these are the poles 0 is the pole 0 next minus 3 0 is the pole 0 minus 3 minus 2 these are the poles now where the root locus exists you have to see you just you have to keep in this way you have to keep the two poles closed and count odd whether it is odd or even now it is odd there is only one pole there therefore the root locus exists here now close this part the two poles that is e1 here the root locus doesn't exist now just imagine there is a one more imagine pole then it will be e1 therefore up to from this direction here the root locus exists there is no zero 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 will be zero here okay next find out the centroid what is the value of centroid centroid is minus minus 1.67 around here centroid 6 is equal to minus 1.667 centroid next angle 60 degree with the help of this protector 60 degree Next 180 in this direction, 180, this would be 60, 180, next is 300, that is 120, 180, 300 minus 1, 180 will get 120, if you measure this will be 60, this will be 180 and this will be 300. Next root, root lies. Now first root is 0 0.784. Whether it lies in the root locus? Yes, it lies here. It will be around it will be around uh, 0 point in something here. Minus 0 0.7847 something. What about this one? It doesn't exist. There is no root locus here. Cancel it out. It doesn't exist here. Because there is no root locus. Only one here. What about the imaginary axis? Where the imaginary axis cut plus or minus 2.24 around here. Exactly. Something. Not draw it. Parallel to it. Approximately. Infinity. Infinity. What about the arrows? Because the root locus cut located between the two poles, therefore arrows will be towards it. K is equal to 30. This is the diagram. I am Santosh Gaidankar. Thank you very much.